Right guys, quick video update. I've uh, added a, a DIY algae scrubber to the tank. Being I'd, I'd like to increase the bio load in the tank. These peach amphias, I'd like to get another six. Um, a few, a few other small fish. I like a mandarin. And a few other bits and pieces, but at the moment I think the tank is pretty much to capacity. The levels are staying nice. So if I increase a fish, I think it starts struggling with phosphates and nitrites. But I've been reading up on a few of the forums that everyone is raving about these algae scrubbers. So I've knocked one up. So a few bits I'd line about. See, it runs from a carbon reactor up, across into the pipe. We have drilled loads of holes, and the water's running down then back into the tank. And then we've got a, an energy saving bulb here, forcing a light onto it. You see a little bit of algae growing on it. So, hopefully, in a week now that'll be covered. And what I've read about them, they're meant to be super efficient at removing nitrates, phosphates. So with the two skimmers and the bio pellets running, we should be able to increase the fish load. Oh, look, yellow wrasse in the sump, gone over the weir. But he can stay in there, I'm not getting him out. But these are meant to be the dog's dangly bits as they say over here. So as you can see the tank's looking lovely, spotlessly clean. No algae issues, live rock, spotless. And this fish loves the camera. Big lipstick tank. But get some nice growth from the SBS. Had a bit of a disaster. The millie at the back there, you can see just a bit of it. It was huge. Tried fragging a piece off it the other day and I managed to destroy it. Ended up with about 22 inch frags. I've added a few more SPS on this piece of branching rock. Nice purple Montipora, Clayton Acropora, and just some. We've got a nice blue stag there. And then just some other bits and pieces, just to, just to fill out this end a bit with a few SPS. See Superman Montipora beginning to encrust. A lovely coral. That a bit of a problem with this bird's nest. I've put it up the top of the tank three or four times and someone keeps pushing him down. So I'm gonna have to get some some sort of way to stick it up on a piece of live rock. But as you can see looking very nice. So I'll, I'll make another video now in say seven days. This has been running for about three or four days now. And we'll have a look in seven days and see how the algae has developed on there. See if it's going to work or not. But it cost me absolutely nothing to build. Just bits and pieces I'd lying about. So we'll take a look. Any questions, comments? Drop me a line. And I'll do my best to answer them.